What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Madness. Figured we'd do a quick update video showing you guys the progress so far uh, since the last update last week. So what have we been working on? Well, we've been reassembling all of the roads. And as you can see, it is quite chaotic. There is a lot to be done. Um, but the plan right now is to kind of just reassemble everything. And then from there, we're going to change the layout. So what do I mean by that? Well, for starters, um, we had to get the beach put back together. And as mentioned in the last video, it did hold up pretty well for the most part down at the end where there's a lot of pieces holding everything together. As you come to the left, um, it definitely broke apart. The uh, old boat rental area uh, just got completely destroyed, unfortunately. But the rest of the city did hold together pretty well and the roads are coming back together piece by piece. As you can see, there's still some debris that we're getting through. But for the most part, you know, the roads are start starting to take shape. So what about the room as a whole? Well, in our last video, we mentioned that originally we were planning to hang all the acro mills over here. The problem is as we started stacking them, it just got really dark. And I think that the white wall really helps bounce the light. More on that in a minute. So what we ended up doing was mounting them all down here and they fit perfectly behind the door, which leads to the storage room. And now you can see how big that is. Um, so we'll keep a lot of the bulk in there and then we'll keep a lot of the sorted parts over here. And if I move this, you can see we're getting a lot of them hung up. So that's all coming along nicely. And obviously we still have storage down in the Alex drawers down below from Ikea. We have more underneath the table over here. We've started putting together the airport and it's coming along uh, nicely. There wasn't too much breakage, which is great. Got some more sections over here. So we're putting all that together. These guys are sitting over here right now because in order to make room for the acro mills over here, we had to move the tables inward. And right now you can see all the bulk parts that are over there. But basically we had it going against the wall over here with a little area over here to stand. So we just switched it over and made the walking area down to the left and basically extended the city. We felt this was important for two reasons. Not only does it create more access, but we're gonna be able to swing the beach around now and create another oceanfront area over here. At least that's the plan as of now. With the airport going in over here and the city coming back together over here, we had to start kind of figuring out what we we're gonna do about the layout. As mentioned in the last video, this city is a lot wider than the previous city. There's a huge new area back there. And because of that, it's probably not gonna make sense to have all the skyscrapers in front like we did with the old city. So we're probably gonna push those back and then do more mid to low rise up front, kind of similar to our government building. With the smaller buildings taking up the bulk of the front, it'll probably mostly be hotels, restaurants, um, with a little bit more sidewalk detail. That's something that we're really trying to improve upon on the next one. Obviously we had some sidewalk detail with you know, some of our newer buildings, but we'd really like to create more of a uh, lively atmosphere down here. And there's some other things that we're gonna be doing with the streets to completely change it up in front. And I think it's gonna be really exciting. As you guys know, this was pretty much the layout for the entire last city. Um, the entire room basically took up the end to the end. So now that we have this whole area over here, we've got a lot planned and we need to adjust the streets accordingly to make sure that they fit both in kind of tying the two areas together, but also for expanding the city in the future. Another comment that we got on the last video was that the lighting in here wasn't as great as the previous place. And I completely agree. So originally we had installed these LED panels up here and that was a lot of light when we first hooked them in, but you really don't ever actually know how much light is gonna be cast until you really get the city set up. So after setting it up, we realized that everything was really dark. If I cut back to the video from last week, you can see there's a big difference. So what did we do? Well, we hung up these LEDs from Amazon and we're likely going to set up another row of them in the back, but it has created a ton of new light. Again, if I you know, show you what it looks like now versus what it looked like before, you can see it's a pretty big improvement. Obviously, we're still working on cord management. We have some uh, little zip ties and clips coming in from Amazon that'll help um, hide some of that. But the lights, especially down towards this end, really help illuminate this side of the city and it just makes it look so much better. Outside of that, you know, we've been working on putting some uh, small details back in like the trees, um, the bike rental, we're getting the flags all put back in. Um, you know, all that's still coming along, it's just, it's a big work in progress and it's going to take some time. And again, with changing the layout and changing the streets in the future, 
it's probably gonna be even longer. But that also means it's very exciting because this layout is going to change and that's gonna create a lot of new builds. It's gonna create a lot of new videos and it's gonna create a lot of new custom creations that I think you guys are gonna really like. This area will all be cleaned out. These drawers will be hung up on the wall. Um, and then this area over here, not sure what we're gonna do yet, but it'll probably be amusement park related. Uh, still a little TBD. We gotta figure out what exactly fits there, but we're really excited to have that extra space as well. And then coming back to the airport, obviously we have the air purifier running right now just to keep the dust low in here while we finish all the construction. Um, but the airport will be a full build out. It's gonna hopefully have four gates total, as you can see. And the goal is then to create somewhat of a tarmac out here. I don't think it's gonna be a runway, but it'll probably be at least a taxiing area because we have a lot more width than we did in the old room. In the old room, the airport stopped literally right here. So now we have all this area to grow it, which is awesome. And we got to find a home for these two builds, which I have some ideas for, um, but that is still TBD. Outside of that, the next few videos that you guys see are probably going to be mostly street related. It's going to be uh, finalizing the new layout, the new grid for the city, and honestly, kind of rebuilding all of these streets from the scratch, especially this front one. We have something really cool planned. Um, so all that's going to be torn out and completely changed around, as well as the skyscrapers likely being shifted backwards while we uh, work on the front. The last thing to mention is that the bridge that was down here is now going to be gone because there's no area to the left. But not to fear, we're planning some new bridges to connect the two areas, which will be down here and hopefully removable so we can keep this as a walkway. Well, guys, that's the progress update for this week so far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do consider subscribing. We are going to be posting updates regularly about the city build as well as some new tutorials and exciting builds coming out. But again, that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.